Question number 50 for Linear Relations EQAO Practice Questions for Grade 9 Applied, and this one's entitled Run for the Cause. Ethan participates in an 8km or 8,000 meter run for a local charity. All the participants run, uh, or walk, some of them probably walk, 4 kilometers or 4,000 meters along a straight route away from the start line, and then they return to where the race began. So 4,000 meters away, 4,000 back to make 8,000 meters altogether, or 8 kilometers. And we have this grid here and we're going to be asked some questions about it. It says describe each of the three segments of the graph, so the A segment, the B segment, and the C. Include details with Ethan's speed in meters per minute, the distance traveled, the time traveled, and whether he was moving towards the start line or away from it. So basically you have to fill out this table. So I'm going to do all of A first and then B and then C. So for A here, line segment A, and if you notice the scale uh, every block here for the time is two and a half minutes, so that's two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half, fifteen, etc. Vertically, each block is 500 meters, so 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, etc. So for line segment A to go from here up to here, he's traveling from zero meters to 4,000, so he's traveling 4,000 meters. So the distance, distance traveled is 4,000 meters since he goes from zero to 4,000. His time would be 15 minutes because this is at zero time and this one is above the 15 minutes of time. So his time traveled is 15 minutes. Now to calculate the rate of change or his speed, that's the same thing, that 4,000 meters is the rise and the run across the bottom is the 15 minutes. So that's why we're dividing 4,000 by 15 minutes. 4,000 is the rise, the run's 15 minutes and it divides and bring my calculator over here. So 4,000 divided by 15 minutes is 266.6 repeating, so I round to 267. And the units would be meters per minute. That's why it says the speed in meters per minute. Uh, and it's meters per minute because the 4,000 is in meters, the 15 minutes is in minutes, so it's minutes per meter. So he's running 267 minutes ev um, uh, meters every minute. And the direction, since it's sloping upwards, he's going further away from the start line because he started at zero from the start line, like at here he's at a thousand, here he's at two thousand, he's getting further away, so he's going away from the start line. Now for line segment B, um, so he ran the four thousand meters away from the start line and he stopped because and he stopped all along here because his his distance is staying at 4000 meters he's he's 4000 meters from start line here 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 all the way to there and then he starts to run back so the distance traveled for b is 0 because he's staying 4000 meters away from the start line the time is two and a half minutes remember i said that every block is two and a half minutes and it's one full block long so the time is two and a half minutes to calculate the rate uh, the rise would be zero minutes because he didn't travel anything. His distance traveled to zero. So zero divided by 2.5 would be zero. Uh, zero meters per minute means that he's not moving. So he's not moving, so he's neither going away from the start line nor back because he's actually stopped. Maybe stopped to take a drink of water before he left to come back. This is a run for charity. This isn't the Boston Marathon, so it's not a race you know, for time necessarily. For line segment C, he's going from 4,000 down to a distance of zero again. So he would have traveled 4,000. Now, you could write negative 4,000 here. That's the number we'd use in the uh, slope or rate calculation rate of change because he actually went from 4,000 down to zero. So it is a change of negative 4,000. I put 4,000 here is because it's really just how far he went. Now the time, this would be at 17 and a half minutes because it's halfway between 15 and 20, so that's 17 and a half. So 17 and a half to this would be 42 and a half. So we could just go to get the time. 42 and a half minutes at the end minus the 17.5. So he traveled for 25 minutes. You could also count on the graph. See, every two blocks is five minutes, so five, ten, like, like that. So if we start here, this would be five, ten minutes. 15, 20, 25. So you could do that as well to get the time. So 25 minutes. So the rate would, the rise would be negative 4,000 again because he went 4,000 closer as opposed to 4,000 away.
So negative 4,000 divided by 25, and one more time we'll bring the calculator back here. So negative 4,000 divided by 25 minutes, we get negative 160. And the units will be meters per minute again because that distance is in meters, this time is in minutes. So that's the rate, rate units. And he's going towards the start line because it's sloping downward as you go from left to right. Okay, so remember he's 4,000 meters away from the start line. He's 3,000, he's 2,000, he's 1,000 away, he's getting closer, and zero would mean right there that he's at the back to the start line, which would, we would call the finish line probably. And that's the end of the last explanation.